So we have an awesome idea to show you today. This right here is Nolan. Wave to the camera, Nolan. This is just a piece of scrap three by three tube we had laying around. I think Nolan purchased a couple casters. Without the swivel, they're just a straight mount. Uh, he welded them to the piece of steel here and he has created a positioner. What he's working on right now is he's working on welding base plates to four inch galvanized posts for a fence that's gonna go get installed on top of a concrete slab inside of a building. So we're gonna show you how he is going to use his idea and how efficient this is. So let's get right to it. He doesn't have just one, but he has two. So that, that way he can sit here and turn this post while he welds it. So he's gonna use a rapid strip disc and he is going to go ahead and strip off about one inch of the galvanizing so that way he can get a better weld. Even in that, you can see that he's rolling that post as he's stripping off that gallon. All right, what's the next step? Let's go get a plate. We have a plate. These are already pre-sanded and marked out for square. So to take the galvanizing off of the 6x6 base plate, a quarter inch thick, uh, Nolan has used a flapper wheel, a flap disc, mm -hmm. to go ahead and do that, and he used it on just a uh, cordless 20 volt, 20 volt uh, DeWalt grinder. So I built a whole contraption here. It's just a hook, and you just you can hook it through your plate. That just makes it quicker. You don't have to mess with your ground. He's made his own ground, so that way he doesn't have to worry about pulling the clamp on and off. Messing with the bolt. You know how many times I've welded and I have actually stepped on it and pulled the clamp off and had to. <laughs> it's a great idea. So what he's doing now is he's got his four inch post within all of his lines on a square that he's got marked out. And he's gonna he took the point of one, one point of the plate and has it facing up so that way he went ahead and put a tack on it. Then what I do is I roll it over. I kind of position my hook off to this side of the plate so that way when I roll it, the hook will actually be on the opposite side so I won't run into my weld. So then I'll push the plate up Put my other tack on this top side here. That'll be my second tack. And I usually roll it over just a little bit. Put my, my whip on this side of the pipe and then I can just run around it. So again, as he's doing this, he's slowly turning that post while he's laying that bead and he's welding the plate to the post. So he doesn't ever have to stop welding and he can get one continuous, one continuous weld. This thing is just beautiful. You never stop welding one time. No, nope, one start, one stop. That is just, that is amazing. That weld looks beautiful and that weld only costs probably like $16 in casters. Amazing way to stay efficient and to get a high quality weld out of a high quality welder. So you could either use a wire brush or a wire wheel to go ahead and go back through, take any of that burnt galve off and just prep the weld for, for paint. And we're gonna, we're not, we're gonna use a cold galvanizing paint we're not just gonna use any cold galvanizing paint. What are we gonna use? Only the best. So we are gonna use ProGalv, or Galv Pro, sorry. It's not ProGalv, it is Galv Pro, because it's for the pros. So I usually paint the bottom first. Because the galve actually gets burnt off, so I just regalve the bottom, so that way you don't, you don't get rust. Okay. On the bottom of your plate. 
So I was really excited just to show this to you guys because I think Nolan had a wonderful idea. Uh, he has replaced all the galvanizing with cold galv and he has welded a six by six quarter inch base plate to this four inch post with only one weld, one continuous weld, all with the help of some casters. So why this is so unique and so cool and I was so excited to show it to you guys is because for the longest time, the way that we would weld our plates to the posts, we came up with these little grabbers here. So we'd put the plate in, we would put the post on the plate, we would tack it in place and same concept, either we would leave the post in place and weld all the way around it or else we would just lay the post on the table and we would weld all the way around that plate. Stopping that weld about maybe two to three to four to five to six times. We never even thought of an idea such, such as this and how much time that saves versus the way that we've been doing it for the longest time. Just, just pure awesomeness, pure awesomeness. Have a good dang day.